actually bought all three, which is amazing. It's great sport. Uh, so we're just going to run through really quickly the contents of the box and how to knock it up at home. Um, again, I've got my beautiful assistant here, Mr. Lou Dean, who's going to help me out. So your box should arrive, mine did. It's what we do on the front foot. So we're just going to crack this bad boy open and hope everything's inside. Two boxes, this one. <laughs> two boxes, this one. Sorry, I forgot, because we've got raw chicken, we did it in two boxes, so not, it didn't get contaminated. So in your box, you should have your little, let me see, uh, postcard and all, with all details on. Then you're going to have two bags of chicken. tin foil chicken. Two little flappers. <clears throat> you've got some corn flour. You've got some double cream. Some sesame oil. Sesame seeds in one box, and the other side, your instructions that we sorted down the side, make sure you don't throw them away. We've got some obviously little instructions in there as well, just in case you haven't got a computer, which I'm sure you have. Even my grand's got one, she's dead. <laughs> um, a little bunch of coriander. If it's not great when it gets there, I'm really sorry because it's obviously it's a freeze pack in there. Uh, you can go out and buy some yourself. Local shop again, then. Local, local shop, yeah. Support the local. A couple of tins of uh, sticky tongue pudding. A bag of uh, cooked sushi rice. <clears throat> some uh, inner sea world famous katsu sauce. And some uh, pickled carrots. So that's the contents of your box. So where you start is chicken. Where's the bread and yeah? Chicken. That's the same thing, isn't it? I reckon so. <coughs> so yeah, so chicken, comes, chicken, chicken comes in a little box. If you really carefully lift that out, one lovely breast. One lovely breast. Obviously, you will refer to lovely breasts, but one will do for now. Straight into this hot oil over here. Hot oil. You want it at about 150 degrees, no hotter. And you want to cook it until it's golden brown. Basically, it looks like this. And it wants to, if you can get it to like 50, 55 degrees in the middle with a probe, that's kind of where you want it. And then if you let it sit somewhere warm for about 10 minutes, it will rest up to about 65 degrees. Um, if you want it cooked a bit more, if you want the chicken a bit more well done, then you just pop it in the oven at 100 degrees for 10 minutes and it'll be nice and well done. So it's cooked all the way through. Um, but you always find that when you start to slice it, if it's a little bit too pink for you, just pop it on a tray and just stick it in the oven. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you exactly how long to cook it for because it's personal preference. Obviously, you've got to probe it or you can stick a little needle in there, put it on your lip if it's hot, if it's hot in the middle, if you've got a little probe, you've got to get it above 65 degrees. So, as the chicken's frying, okay. you've got a catching leg, should we get the nice and close? Yeah, go right there. If you've got this bag of rice, if you've got a popty pink in Welsh or a microwave, stick it in there, minute, minute and a half, two minutes if you want it really hot, and then just take it out and uh, let it rest. Do not cut the bag open straight away, otherwise you might steam burn your fingers off. If you haven't got a microwave, pan of water, simmer it away, drop it in, five, five, ten minutes, it should be hot. Looks like Uncle Ben's. Like Uncle Ben's. Uncle Garrett's. Uncle, Uncle Garrett's. So you've got yourself a saucepan. Obviously, make sure you scrape your bag. You want all of that katsu sauce out of that bag. Just like that. And then you've got a little pot of corn flour. Empty all that into there. And then this is the really important part, as our uh, Lewis is going to show you now. I'm going to give it a whisk in. If you've got a little hand blender, you can hand blend it in, get it nice and smooth. If not, just whisk it, whisk it over, try and get rid of all them lumps. And then you want it on a medium heat. And you want to constantly whisk. Do not step away from it, do not stop whisking it until it boils. If you if you stop whisking it, it will burn to the bottom very quickly and you end up with no catching sauce. And now obviously I've nothing I can do about that. <laughs> That's your own fault. Yeah. So you have to constantly whisk. It'll eventually boil. 
through the boils, take it off, and you can have a really nice, thick, beautiful tattoo. So By the way, I don't know if anybody knows, but we do uh, loads of merch on the website. Got nice you know, see cups there, t-shirts, hoodies, hats, notebooks, everything. So just in case you're feeling a bit rich, you want to spend some more money, chuck it out of the way. Sell it? We're gonna sell it. Yeah, should we do sell it next year? So while you just when you've brought that up, it's nice and thick. Just pull it off, and then. Um, Put the salad together for you. Pickle all the carrots. Pet. Pet. So yeah, empty your pickled carrots out into a bowl. And you should have your coriander. A little bit of sesame oil, which just comes in a little tub. Get that in there. You don't need to use all of this, just send you enough. And then Sesame seeds as well that have been deep fried. Get all them in there. Coriander. Give that a little mix together like that. And you got yourself a little sesame carrot uh, coriander salad. Razors come out of the property pink. There you go. So you've got your rice, this is like the best quality sushi sticky rice that you, money can buy, so it's really really good. So it's beautiful stick, just season with a little bit of salt, nothing else, plus the sauce is quite strong. It's like proper curry sticky rice. I was going to push this into a little dairy mold, but I forgot. So it looks like you're at a uh, mm -hmm. yeah. little sushi or something. So a little mound of rice. What sometimes we do if at the, a bit of chicken. when we do takeaway is put some soy sauce over this rice if you fancy it. So yeah, you've just sliced your chicken there. That's absolutely perfect. So that's been in oil at 100, do you say 40, 50? 150. 150 degrees until it got to 55 in the middle and then it's just rested. It hasn't been in the oven or anything. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, that's perfect for me. But obviously, if you want it a bit longer, just put it in the oven. A little bit of salt on there, just to give her a season. Then you've got your pickled carrot salad on the side. Eat plenty of this, it needs loads of this, this dish. So share it, share it out amongst you. This, is, uh, this stuff's mega. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh my God. And your katsu sauce and uh, yeah enjoy so either as you sit down to eat your katsu or spend just one little rest beforehand you just want to get your tins of your these are stps there's one each leave the lid on and you just want to pop these in the oven 100 degrees for about 10 15 minutes or until you lift the lid off put a little pin in the middle like you would make a cake and just check it make sure it's warm you know, either do that as you're eating your katsu or afterwards and here's one we prepared earlier so these are just ready to rock eat it straight out the tin it's ready to go i mean you can put it in a bowl if you want to but they've even soaked with sauce look at that so you've got your beautiful sticky sauce on there ready to go and then our lewis is just going to get a hot spoon and just spoon on some beautiful cream and then just yeah just go for it um, thank you very much guys. Thank you. Um, yes. Hope to see you again soon. Can't wait to feed you some food on plates in the restaurant instead of putting everything in boxes. But you know, it's just how it is at the moment. It is. We're still smiling. Yeah. Love you. Bye.